When the Associated Press covers an event, they send a photographer and then offer up an array of photographs for news organizations to choose from. That's what they did this week when presidential candidate Ted Cruz appeared at an Iowa gun shop for a Second Amendment celebration. Five of the 14 images the Associated Press released had pictures of guns at or near Ted Cruz's head. And one in particular had a gun pointed right at his forehead. The AP said the images were not intended to cast the senator in a bad light. Several conservative media outlets protested, as did the senator himself, saying if they had run the same photo and it had been Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama, the entire world would have recoiled in horror. The AP then removed the photos from its site, saying, upon consideration, we have decided to remove these photos from further licensing. Well, frankly, for the AP to say with a straight face that they didn't intend any offense, and that they, this was an innocent photograph taken at uh, a Second Amendment event is nonsense and, and frankly not believable. And Ted Cruz is right. If that had been an image of Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton, the editor would have been fired. It, Ted added that. Whoever, whoever put those photographs, maybe the photographer too, because he clearly framed it that way. And there was no apology. They, they pulled this down off the website, but that was it. I agree with you completely. This is pure poison. And the AP had to know it when they, when they moved those pictures. Uh, you know, Ted Cruz is kind of a figure of fun mm -hmm. in our national politics. Uh, re re recent, <laughs> I mean, recently, okay. Mark Halperin uh, asked him a series of incredibly demeaning questions about his Cuban oh, heritage. He did, he did everything but ask him to jump up on a table and do a little Cuban dance. I so, I mean, it, it seems like there were certain segments of the media who are treating Ted Cruz like somebody that you can just say or do mm. anything and it doesn't matter. This is completely unacceptable. I, I don't know. I, the, so the Des Moines Register uh, ran a picture that was similar but not, so the, the gun was a little bit uh, blurrier and it, it was a little bit of a wider take. But yeah, the man was at a gun. And uh, there were know, photographs he, everywhere. Yeah, he was at a, gun, a shooting range and, and there were pictures of him I mean, that, that's a whole other <laughs> issue, uh, uh, frankly, right after this um, massacre to, yeah. you know, that was what unsettled me about the whole thing. But, but um, yeah, so at what point is the framing of the picture wrong? Because nobody took issue with the Des Moines Register's picture, and it was probably just a couple of inches different. Mm -hmm. I tell you when it's wrong. This is a both and situation. <clears throat> I say I do not believe that the photographer took it with any intention to be harmful. I really don't. So he, you know, they're taking the rap, the shots, rapid, mm. rapid, rapid. Now they get back, and somebody's supposed to be looking at this. So somebody, the looking at person, is supposed to say, "Hmm, this is a little dicey. Maybe mm. we want to think about this and take this out." And certainly, at the point that then somebody says, "Hello." What, what are you doing here? Then you don't come back with some lame excuse. I, I agree. Their response was lame. No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should have looked at it and realized that this ha has some implications that you did not intend, I believe. So I think it was a both end. I think they shot it, no intention there. Yeah. But what went out to other people should have been caught. And that's why we have uh, editorial folks. More on generous the job. than I. I thought that you framing know. was too perfect not but to be intentional. You're talking about the one shot yeah, or all the of them? Okay, because we showed a couple other ones yeah. there, and, and it looked like you know he's Some standing at the front random. of the room, and guns or images of guns yeah, are pointed at him. The one at the forehead. The wall. one shot. Yeah. So one so, shot. So right. So I think the one shot. Here's my hunch. I bet the photographer saw that in <clears> I, I think purely aesthetic terms yeah. and didn't think about it as an <laughs> ethical issue at all. They were just like, here's an incredibly compelling image. It is a compelling image. And no, no, but I'm saying. I'm not saying yeah. it's okay to run it. I'm saying they looked at it as sort of an, an exercise in pure style or design, and you can't look at it that it way. It is slightly different, though. I agree with you. Though. And by the way, they are right. If it was Obama, oh, yeah. that would have been bad. It's okay, great, go ahead. But Obama yeah. okay. had his life threatened. Yes, I mean, that's, that's right. well, so what? Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. If, if it, it's, 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 they're right. The media would have been all over this. I'll bet Ted been. Cruz has had his this life This is back to He's editorial. a presidential candidate. Somebody's got to be looking at this stuff. You just don't throw stuff out there. Well, they looked at it. They looked at it. Well, they put it out there. And respond, I guess is what I'm saying. Look All and right. respond.